Loomis Simmons. Ladies, are the only breasts your man hold Kentucky Fried? Does he think a G-spot is a $10 bill? Well, I can make you the love bucket of his dreams when you let me make him jealous. The plan is simple. We go to your place, get butt naked, and do the nasty on your front lawn. Full view of the neighbors. You can even take Polaroids if you want. <laughs> the Loomis method has been endorsed by leading scientists all over the world, even Albert Einstein. Let's listen. The Loomis method works indubitably. <laughs> Will we have this freaky deaky sex? As often as possible. <laughs> Just listen to another Loomis success story. Before Loomis, my husband never paid any attention to me. Now we're together all the time. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Tell the people how Loomis helps me all the He's time. He's getting the house. Get. Damn you, Loomis. Damn you. Damn you. Get the hell out of here, Loomis. Get the hell out of here, Loomis. Get Loomis, you bastard. <laughs> So what are you waiting for? Call today. The number is 555-3747. Uh, That's 555-3747. Uh, and that spells... Uh, <laughs> Remember, the secret to a happy marriage is Loomis. When you let me make him jealous. <laughs> presents the best of the 66th Annual Academy Awards with your host, Whoopi Goldberg. I want to hear it spin. With Robin Williams. Looks like RuPaul with an orthopedic shoe. Genitalia not included. <laughs> Take me, Madame Lupin. <laughs> Oops, better get Mako. <laughs> uh, uh, Irving Thalberg was a man of high ideals. That's right, high ideals and high heels. Yes, this spring Irving will be stepping out in his pink capita ensemble that says, excuse me, Garcon, I'll have a quiche. <laughs> with glamorous stars like Rosie Perez. I didn't pay a hundred bucks so you could get a close-up of a vented tox. I'm a star. I get a shot of my or something. Oh, Rosie. Oh, great goddess of Puerto Rican knockers. All hail to the lactating wet nurse from hell. Ever get some of this, you stupid It's a night you'll want to relive again and again. And now, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you a tribute to the history of sound effects editing as interpreted by the Debbie Allen dancers and the Bill Connie Orchestra. You tell them, sister! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> hey, Whoopi, I'm white and I'm ready for you. Who says they can't jump, huh? <laughs> Man, why don't you just shut up? Why don't you, for once in your life, just hey, shut up? Hey, oh, 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 yeah, oh, shut up. Intense brain, that's a flesh wound. And yeah, and yeah. I'm not in Kansas anymore. The 66th Annual Academy Awards. The most exciting nine hours ever on television. Okay, very nice. And, oh, good cut. All right, great. Butch is obviously very talented. We're going to be in touch with your agent. Thanks for coming in today. You are wonderful, really. Thanks a lot for coming. Thanks a lot. Wow, she sucked. <laughs> next, please. Come on in. Next dog. <laughs> That's 
it's all right now, Duke. Now, just relax. Now, you was a born actor. Excuse me, sir. Sir, this is the casting session for Beethoven's sidekick. You want to go down the hall to the left for Honey, I Ran Over the Dog. See, you don't want him to be in it. You want him to play a pimp or a thief, because he's a black dog. The <laughs> thing about it is, if dog was light-skinned like old yellow, you give him a respectable part. But the thing about it, he could even get him an a image award or something like Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> sir, I'm sorry. No, we're not going to use your dog, okay? We're not going to. Well, I guess I have to tell Spike Lee about it, huh? Go ahead and tell whoever you'd like. Well, I guess I'll go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and get Al Sharpton then. All right, wait. No, no, not Al. Okay, uh, we'll give your dog a chance. All right. Then. All right. Now, here's the situation. There's a suitcase of money up in the tree, and Beethoven, he got locked in a closet somehow. So Duke has to get the suitcase down before the villains get to it and take it away from the family, okay? All right. All right. All right. And action. All right, Duke. Now, remember your lines. Don't get nervous. Jump up and get the case, Duke. You see the case, don't you, Duke? <laughs> Jump up and get the case, Duke. Sir. There you go, Duke. Sir. Look, sir, here comes the director. You'll have to talk to him. Well, look at that. Don't I know you from somewhere? Of course you do. I'm a world-famous director. I'm in charge of this film. Well, you Miss Butterworth, boy, ain't you? I'll be damned, sir. <laughs> no, I'm not. I never forget. I knew you was gonna get in the film because you love cameras. I never forget one time you was taking a picture of a lion. The lion rushed you, C uh, cut you up into like Farmer John's bacon. Your mama was gonna cook you, but your father recognized your birthmark and said, "Don't cook the boy." Uh, look, sir, I have no idea what you're talking about. And anyway, I do not use stuffed animals in my movies. Well, you know what? There's a lot of things that Duke is, and one thing is he is not stuffed. <sighs> he hadn't eaten since 1962. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna humor you. The dog in this movie has to be able to revive the wounded woman and get her away from the car before it blows up. Let's see if your dog can do that. <laughs> humor me. Come on now, Duke. There you go, Duke. Oh. Use your tongue like a talk, Duke. This is disgusting. I quit. I, Come on, oh, but we need her. She won an Oscar last year. <laughs> Come on back. Once you go shepherd, you don't go back. <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't you have Duke sit right about right, there? Right Someone here, yeah, right, right here. there. Just have him sit there. We want him to. We want him to yeah, there you go. All right. Sit right there, Duke. Just sit still, boy. There you go. There you go. Oh, okay. okay, sir. He's dead now, all right? He's dead. D E A D, dead. Dead as Gacy's paper boy, okay? What do you mean? Duke's career is never dead. See how he bounces back. Just every time he gets hit, he bounces right back. All right, sir. Look. <laughs> All right, sir, fine. But we're not looking for adult dogs. We're looking for puppies. We want puppies, okay? Oh, you should have said so, because he got more bitches than Luther Campbell. Come on around here. <laughs> sir, we, we don't want... Oh, there my... There you go. There what? you go. All the little right there. There you go. Hey, y'all stay in line now. Security! Boy, y'all some bad little no dogs. All right, now, y'all got to jump in the box. Now, come on now, Michael. Uh, Tito, Jermaine. <laughs> come on now. Oh, y'all acting trifling then, huh? Jump in one at a time. Petey, this is so impetuous running off and getting married like this. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing too good for you, Tracy. Hey, look, they even throw rice at you for an extra $5. Five dollars for rice? Good Lord, that's a lot of money. <laughs> How about I give them a buck and a quarter and they throw some black eyed peas? <laughs> But I'm telling you, I still want a honeymoon. I've always wanted to see the moon over Paris. Well, how about the sun over Compton? <laughs> Welcome to the Chapel of Wildwood. Are you young lovers thinking of getting married? <laughs> we sure are, Peggy Bundy. <laughs> now, how much it cost to get married? Well, that depends. We have a flat rate of $35. $35? $35? Good yeah. Lord, that's a lot of money. Well, $25 of that goes to the marriage licenses. All right, check this out, check this out. How about I give you a buck and a quarter and you give me a learner's permit? I'm sorry, sir. We can't do that. Peter, I can't believe you're acting this way. Oh, don't worry. It's okay. I know how nervous people get when they're about to get married. Now, we have a, a variety of ways to preserve the moment forever, okay? Seeing that you're a thrifty couple, Couple, you'd probably want the Polaroid picture. Okay, okay, okay. I got one question. It's twelve ninety-five. Good Lord! How you know I was gonna answer that? Let me guess, sir. Uh, Miss, you mentioned you have a variety of ways to record this event. What other ways do you suggest? Well, yes, we could videotape the service. That would cost 
Well, brace yourself, sir. You ready? ceremony did they pay for? Oh, the no frill ceremony. <clears throat> and I brought you man and wife tagger and beggar. <laughs> now you listen here, boss hog from the Dukes of Hazzard. <laughs> ring, how much it cost for a ring? 65 bucks. 65 dollars? Good Lord! Uh, Petey, don't you think I'm worth a diamond ring? You mean a, a band of gold with a, 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 a diamond on it? Check this out. How about I give somebody 42 cents and we'll get you a Cheerio with a raisin on it? All right, all right, all right. Check this out, check this out. How about I give you a lightsaber and you suck it till it fits your finger? I've never been so offended in my life. Goodbye. Come on, girl. Cheaper car insurance. Come on back now. Yeah, we got hookers. Twenty years, Ma. It hasn't been that long. It seems like yesterday. Oh. 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 Yeah. I told you to hold on to something, Mr. Big Shot, Mr. Daredevil. Now I've dropped my CD. Oh, you don't need your CDs. What is that? That's just noise. That's not music. You want to go deaf? Is that what you want? You want yes. to go So I won't have to listen to you. Hey. Is this a steak? What's this? A poor constrictor cup? No, it's an embryo a constrictor. Look, I've had it anyway. You dumb ass. Go sit down. It's his umbilical cord. You never seen one before? It's a source of life. You kiss my raggedy behind, what? lady. Oh, Barry, you see what I mean? This is what happens if you stray too far from the uterus. Don't now, talk what? to my jailer like that. Go sit. <laughs> sit. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. That's disgusting. Oh, oh. Oh, let him go. He doesn't understand. Besides, you and I could be closer this way. Yeah. How's your stomach doing? Are you I hungry? Mm-hmm. Yes, you're looking very thin. Let's have a little nosh, okay? Mmm. <laughs> Strami, my favorite. How come I never get to chew, Mom? What? And ruin those gorgeous teeth I spent thousands of dollars on? Never. Come on. Is that your umbilical cord, or you just happy to see me? <laughs> Both, really. What's your name? Tanya. Oh, hello. You want to have sex? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Would it be all right if my mom's in the room? Well, that'll cost you a little bit extra, but... <laughs> She liked me. Yes, and for $50, she'd like your Uncle Maury, too. <laughs> you just don't want me to be 
happy, Mom. I want you to be happy. Forget it. this morning. <laughs> These hemorrhoids are killing me. Well, Doug, you won't have them for long. That laser's over 12,000 degrees in Fahrenheit. They'll just burn those babies right off. <laughs> <laughs> Peggy, stop. You're scaring me. Oh, Doug, don't be such a tight ass. <laughs> uh, now, here, honey, let's just get up here. All right, Peggy. Let I'll me, just strap you in. Let me just get up here on okay, my own. Okay, now careful. Again. Nice to see you, too, Doc. I didn't think I'd see you so soon. Oh, well. Oh, while you're back there, could you loosen those straps for me? Are you all right with that? Oh, sure. Whoa! These babies are about to blow. <laughs> Peggy. Oh. <laughs> now, don't be so sensitive, okay? Now, I'm going to go and see if they're ready for you in surgery, all right? Oh, uh, Doug, one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> stop it. You are such a card. <laughs> Is the vitals needed in room 714? Uh, guys, uh, excuse me, I'm not done with that. Uh, Peggy! Oh my God! I didn't know hemorrhoids could get that big. Hemorrhoids? I thought he was giving birth! <laughs> now, excuse me, that was not called for. You people are professionals! Nurse Ratchet? Excuse me, it's, this is not a Kodak moment, please. Peggy San, Peggy San, help, I'm Roberto. Hey, Mr. Ferguson's vital signs are finally stabilizing. Let's get him over to ICU. <laughs>
Japanese gentleman took a picture of it, and and I think I killed a fat white man, Peggy. Oh! <laughs> a fat white man? Yes, I'm not all right with this. Damn it! All right, mister. Just because you have hemorrhoids doesn't mean you have to be rude! Peggy, Peggy, I'm... No! Peggy! 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 Someone on top of me! Peggy! I'm not all right with this. Can I get over? Sucker, please, sucker, please don't stop. 